Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Starfield. Last time we left Sunny DePalco's island and we returned to the quay to speak to Neva and she told us to go and meet up with Juan Dayu, which is a, another trader who she knows. And uh, she was going to get us onto a space station SY920 to get this Com Spike prototype. And here we are on the space station. We uh, got on board and managed to sneak through and get ourselves this lovely um, Ensign's uniform so we can get the comm spike prototype and the information about it. So, let's get into it. Zoop. Andreja. Right. Alright. So we need to report for duty. Good sir. Should we talk to Juan again? Just to check in. This is Captain Juan Dayu. Um, yeah, I've made it. Good. And no alarms or warnings on the comms. Music to my ears. There you go. If you found a uniform, be sure to put it on. That'll provide some cover. Don't know what you're after, but I'm guessing there'll be another checkpoint. Probably. As far down, you might need a clearance code. Um, hmm. Mm, yeah. I, I, I don't need access if I use the vents and straight station architecture. My we God. We are of the same mind. No talking, no combat, and no trace. Ba boom. This station has a lot of old arteries. The blood has gone dry, but they still connect to its heart. All right. Look for a maintenance area that should open a path to the archival computers. Okay. Going down for now. We'll talk again once you've located your target. All right. Who, me? No. I'm just here. You better hurry. You know what they say, Marine. Ooh. If you're 15 minutes early... You see Marine's slate. Late. What's this? There's been a lot of chatter rumbling around about the projects on this station. It's always a topic of conversation within the unit. Everyone's got their theories about what's going on in engineering. You want to hear my theory? It ain't none of my business. That's my theory. I just keep my head down, follow orders, and collect my creds. Chain of command still means something to this jarhead. Oh, very noble. All right, mate. All right. What are you getting threatening for? If you aren't assigned to this level, Ensign, you need to leave. What? All right. Jeez, chill out, man. You, don't here, you, need to get back to your post, you need to calm down. Won't ask again. You need to calm down, dude. You really do. Just chill, man. You lost, Ensign? A little. I'm kind of new. Is this is this where I need to go? In here? I mean. What's in there? Find information. How do I get in there, though? Need your oh. clearance code, Marine. Uh. Okay, I uh, I must have got turned around. Say, you might want to track down your commanding officer and have them clarify your post. Maybe they'll draw you a map. Oh, the temptation to shoot this guy in the head is unbelievable. Okay. So what's this like a little kitchen area? All right, let's um. I'm taking those just because I can. Just because I can. Can I go in here? Hello. Must be some info in here somewhere. All right, dude. What? Stop what? right there, Ensign. What? All right, Ensign. Why aren't you at your post? Who's your commanding officer? Only authorized personnel are allowed here. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Should try and persuade him, maybe. Only senior officers report to the commander. Something doesn't seem right. No, 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 no. It's 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 fine. There's no good reason for us to have a problem here, is there? I hear you. <sighs> Sorry, I'm new. Probably haven't met yet. Yeah. 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 I, I remember now. All right. Um. I'm sure there's a way we can both walk away happy. Maybe so. Fine. I'll let you go, Ensign. But as soon as you're done with your task, you should return to your post. All right. Cheers, mate. My God, that was easy. All right. Um. 
maybe maybe I should just go and get on with it because I don't, I don't really want to get 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 in trouble. Let's um yeah okay I'm going going straight to my post. Not messing about. I'll see y'all later. Uh, we can't go through there. Where do we go? Is it in here? Utility. Just going in here. Get some boxes. Sure, Jim. Anything else? Come on now. Checking up there, or must be up there, mustn't it? Okay. Let's say, oh, the sad backs. Give me that. I don't want the kefir. All right. Ooh, hello. Really? All right. Let's um, let's do this thing. <laughs> We're in. Do a little quick save, just to be, um, just to be sure. Ah, to be sure, to be sure. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. I suppose we have to go over this way. We do have to be careful, Andreja. If you are with me, my dear, please just, just. Do you reckon it's on there? Oh god. Oh no, it's in there, isn't it? Oh my god, I nearly fell. Oh my god. Andreja? Oh well, she'll 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 catch up. Chunks cheesesteak. Beer? Who's been up here having all this? Good god. Alright. Alright, can we is there anybody in here? Doesn't look like it to me. Wait. Let's just do a little a little quick save. Uh. Hello? Alright. Is it this? Okay. Records office. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Should we close the door while we're in here? Just so we can keep ourselves um, secure? Alright. So in here. Yes. Projects, here we go. Uh, UCE85 Svalin. Sounds interesting. Uh, general active project leader. Blah, 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 blah. So what? Project lead and proposals. Meh. Proposal. The goal of project UCE85 Svalin is to create smart shielding designed to offer better efficiency and power economy for larger starships. Rather than generate shield power for all modules, the intelligent shielding would divert power on the fly based on predictive algorithms, taking advantage of data rooted in classical Bayesian inference and time series modelling. By calculating a number of high probability factors such as distance, enemy ship capabilities and likely targets, the system would anticipate the, and generate shielding for specific modules before an attack occurs, re rather than rely on the in-moment computations that are too slow to be practical. Benefits? Better, more concentrated shielding. More efficient energy consumption, increased power supply for other systems. Very good. Project approvals? Hey. Hey, Ikande. I've heard of him. Okay, com spike. Here we go. Uh, Gabriel Vogel, Engineering Bay Four, Lab Four. Okay. Project lead is Dr. Gabriel Vogel. All inquiries regarding the com spike should be routed through him. All of the matters should be directed to Commander Natara or the highest ranking officer on the station. Ranking security clearance and ensign plus. Okay, so we need to upgrade our security clearance. Thank you. Engineering Bay 4, elevator clearance granted. Please report Dr. Gable Vogel for further guidance. Comspike spike proposal. The goal of Project UC86 Comspike is to create a highly sensitive receiver capable of picking up communication signals and decrypting them on the spot. Signal range would be star system wide at a minimum of 50 AU. AU? I don't know what AU is. Would it be light years? I don't know. The receiver would be strong enough to pick up traces of frequencies potentially weakened by distance, atmosphere, or a gravitational field. Decryption software would be smart enough to both decrypt any signal within nanoseconds and propose any missing or corrupted data. Benefits. Distress signals become easy to locate and interpret. UC security could detect hostile frequencies before they become a threat. Hostile embedded messaging could be easily exposed. Communications across the system are greatly increased within fewer, with fewer delays. 
got some approvals. I've never heard of Stefan Woods, but that's fine. And what's this? Chusa. Chusa? Hmm. The goal of Project UCA44, Chusa, is to create a guided missile targeting system that offers surgical ballistic damage to enemy spacecrafts. The use case for the system is to debilitate targets without destroying the ships themselves. Benefits disabling enemy star spacecraft without harming systems or crew, allowing for better recovery of resources and prisoners. More efficient use of weapons, increasing overall cost effectiveness. Okay, so we got our info, we got our security clearance. Should we, um, is there anything else in here that would be of, what, what's in this one? Is it just the same stuff? Curiosity and all that jazz. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, so are we like okay to be in here now? Hello? Right. Let's just take a little peep around. I'm mean, okay. Alright, didn't know there was anybody in here. Let's just... Oh, Jesus, Andre, you scared the life out of me, girl. Good Lord, madam. So tired, he needs to go back to sleep. Well, go back to sleep, mate. We won't mind. Server room. Can we go in here? Is there anything in here? Probably not. Alright. Cough, cough. Cough, 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 cough. Oh god, who, who, who? I think, can we just go out now? I suppose. Can we just walk out of here? Records, go in here. Alright, we're in. Apparently we can just, we can just open it. Are we are we good to be here? I suppose I do have clearance. Hot shot pilots. I hear they're bringing in some hot shot test pilots to the station. They should have asked me. I flew for the Vanguard. I would have saved them the trouble. Top secret project. Secrecy on this project is unlike anything I've ever seen. Hell, I feel weird just typing this. We'll probably delete later. People rarely exit the engineering bay elevators, except when they get fired. The other day, some poor engineer named Eubanks came out of engineering bay 4 with a box. They'll probably ship him off to Adonai and bury him in it. Oops. Deleted. This entry has been deleted. This entry has been deleted. Has it? Really? How interesting. How curious. Anything else in here? Oh, whatever projects are being worked on here must be incredibly important. Key cards at every elevator, checkpoints on every floor. The COs don't tell us anything except when to eat, patrol and sleep. Fine by me. The less I know, the fewer secrets I have to keep. Ensign Palavi. What is Ensign Palavi doing that requires him to type all day? The worst part is he has one of those annoying one-finger typing techniques that is the equivalent of paint drying in zero gravity. Is he writing a novel? Perhaps... Is he writing a novel? Because no single military report requires that much typing. He's made it so I can't even think, because all I do is rage. Well, two can play that game. I'm just going to type loudly and self-importantly until he can no longer keep the chapters in his story straight. Not great... No great fiction will be written by your hand tonight, Ensign Palavi. Not if I can help it. Take this, Palavi. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Good Lord, these, these folks were angry. All right. Hello again. Anything else in here? Is this Palavi? Mission secrecy. I was talking to another Marine about some of the projects on this station, and we both concluded we don't know a damn thing about them. I get that operational security is always integral to successful mission, but usually the circle of trust extends to the jarheads working the perimeter. But here, especially on the command bay level, we can't even put our pants. We can't even put on our pants without an access card. Can't imagine how restrictive it must be in engineering. Slow days. My wife thought the transfer to logistics would do me some good, and I can't say I disagree. I've done enough combat tours to write my own personal war trilogy, and so it's good to have some R&R. &R. The slow days are a killer, though. There must be a black hole nearby, the, the way time moves here. When this tour is over, I'll probably come back home and find the missus old and grey. Slower days. Okay, now I'm officially bored. This is a high-level mission with top secret clearance and all of that, but those are the jobs that see the least amount of action. The hard-working people in UC Intelligence make sure of that. So I'm not sure what to do when I'm done filing my daily inactivity report. Maybe I'll write that novel. 
Maybe that's what he was doing. All right. Ooh, there's a safe. There's a bloody safe. Can I? Can I take the credit stick? Can I take the digi pick too? I bloody well can. And we're in. Okay. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Let's succeed at that before we are discovered. Very easily. Anything else on here? Clearance code. I keep forgetting to check the computer in the security room before going through the checkpoint. I've got a bit of an astigmatism too, which seems to manifest itself whenever I'm looking at a lines of text. So sometimes I'll look at the code for the wrong rank or the wrong surname and I'll get denied entrance to the operations centre. Being on time. I knew this was coming. Commander Natara read me the riot act for always being the last one in to report. She's not wrong. In the Marines, if you aren't five minutes early, you're ten minutes late. Funny part is, I'm actually the first one to lead the barracks, but it's the damn codes. I always screw those up. Also, I hate to beat a dead horse, but we never had all these procedures under Commander Woods. But he's been he's been disappeared for reasons that remain classified. Ugh. Transfer to logistics. I guess I shouldn't be surprised I got transferred to logistics because of my issues being punctual. While having to sit in a cubicle all day is pretty depressing. On the bright side, at least I don't have a need a clearance code to sit at my desk. Yeah, there you go. Swings and roundabouts, all that jazz. Is there anything else in here? Hey, dude. What are you doing? All right. You all right? Don't don't get excited. Jesus. Oh, we've already read that. We've already read it. We've already read it. Okay. Well, I guess then. Yes. Oh. Taking that. SY920 Marine Slate. Ooh. Maybe I've been watching too many vids, but this station scares the crap out of me. I hear footsteps in the vents, like someone's moving around inside them. Someone or something. I know we're not allowed to bring in custom firepower, but I'm not going to let some excessively alien-looking creature get the best of me. I got some weapon mods smuggled in with my personal effects, and I just need to assemble them without the Lieutenant or Commander Natara noticing. Cool. Shut up. There we go. Okay. And we're in. Thank you. Modified negotiator. Yeah, it's heavy. It's heavy. Not something I'm truly interested in. Sorry, I was looking for the bathroom. It's fine. All right, so we need to go this way. How are the tests for the comms by doing? Dr. Vogel has put in a request for more personnel. It seems there was an accident. Ah, it's always something with that doctor. Uh -huh. Not to change the subject, but are we concerned about the potential leaks? Leaks? No. Until you can provide more substantial proof, we'll be All right. Come on, Andrea. We've got upgraded, upgraded, um, upgraded thingies now. Let's go. Engineering Bay 4. Okay, locate the comm spike. All right, we're in. Andreja, come on. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Should we talk to Juan again? Maybe we should. Here. Yep. Almost unloaded. We'll be departing shortly. Cool. Um. Wait, are you leaving? It's nothing you've done. You've managed to get through the entire station without raising a single alarm. But the longer I stick around, the more people ask questions. And that's before they find out what you've been up to. Uh, but I'm your cargo. And I've delivered you just as the Gado asked. Oh. That being said, I can stay in orbit for a short while. I'll need to send word to Delgado anyway, if you don't get off that station. But it looks like you'll need to find your own way off the ship. That doesn't mean you're trapped. On a station this big, there are bound to be other vessels you can steal. You... As a member of the Crimson Fleet, I trust you can handle that. <sighs> Fine. I've made it this far. I can do it. You've made it this far without engaging in combat? I trust you'll have no issues moving further. It was an honor to work with a true professional. Mm. Good luck. If you make it out alive, next time you're at the Nova, I'll buy you a drink. Next time we're at the Nova, I'm going to shoot you in the head for leaving me behind. Give me this. Give me this root beer. I'm annoyed. All right. Okay. So we need to find the comp spike, and we need to do it quick because we need to get off this wretched station and be quick about that too. All right. So it's where in here? All right, folks. Am I allowed to be here? 
Should we just stand up? Oh. All right. Hey. Hello. All right, dude. Don't mind me. I'm just. Uh, this is inspection. I'm inspecting things. You know. Do you know? I think we're actually okay to be here, by the looks of it. Whoa! What? What? What are you doing? Pointing your weapon at that that scientist? You weirdo. A little weird. A little rude. What's in here? Oh, is this where we were before? Intercepting transponder data in the Harvard system might be promising. Mm. According to autocorrelation models, results in risk increased by a magnitude of two. Okay. Ugh. God, that wasn't worth the time, was it? Jesus. All right. We can, um, I think we can kind of roam about kind of freely here. Not like too much, but you know. Locker inspection, folks, is very, very, very serious business. Right, so, where did the, where did the... I don't recognize your face, Are you... I am, I am new. Okay. There we go, Dr. Vogel. Hello? Sir? Wait, who are you? Why are you in here? Did you not see the sign? Um, hmm. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. I've been studying decryption of all types for quite a long time. Probably since before you took your first crab jump. Maybe. Signal protocol, quantum ratchet symmetry, interleaving data extrapolation. You name it, I've lectured on it. I've probably forgotten half of it, but I definitely knew it once. Okay, well, um... <sighs> yes, I'm doing a routine check of the comm spike. I need to access the device. Don't you mean access to the ship? Because the comm spike isn't a device, it's a module. Yes, well. It's attached to a prototype in one of our docking ports. We're still in the testing phase, running decryptions across a variety of signal types. But the results so far have been very promising. Very it good. It can even interpolate signal data lost in the retrieval. It really is a wondrous technology. Sounds great. Um, decryption on that level has vast military applications. No wonder the UC is interested in it. Yeah. Yes. It's not quite cracking the Enigma code, but it will give us a significant tactical advantage. Mm-hmm. We'll be able to infer everything from battle plans to meal consumption. Very Not good. that we'd care about that sort of thing, uh, outside of the effects of diet on combat readiness. There you go. And yes, there are certain kinks to be worked out, missing parts in the occasional traumatic injury here and there, but it's all part of the adventure. Injury? Um... Hmm. I'd be a good pilot. I love adventure. Sounds like it's not entirely ready. I mean, I don't want to diss it or anything. Yeah. Yes. It's not the destination, but the journey that matters. There you go. <laughs> Particularly when the destination is dead. Lovely. But don't worry. We've corrected the problem with the ship's life support systems, and statistical models show a failure rate of less than 2%. In short, I've requested a full squadron of these brave and fearless marines to be transferred to the station. They'll give the prototype a final run, and provided there are minimal casualties, we can present our findings to Mast. All right. Um. Hmm. Do you know, we could do. I'm not going to do it. I'll speak to the Crimson Fleet about her. Uh, yeah. Splendid. That was fast. I thought I put in the request this morning. No, well, I'm pretty decent. Normally, my you know. requests aren't given this much attention, let alone haste. It seems a tad suspicious. Well, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, the reasons are classified, but I've been asked to personally fly the ship. Should we try it? Classified. Oh. I, I'm the head of the Com Spike project. I would have gotten word of this ahead of time. 
Hmm. Somebody really high up called in a favour? Really? Ooh. And then maybe all of my pestering has finally paid off. Maybe, maybe, dude. Um, This isn't for the recent request, but it's an older one, maybe. We only need one, don't we? Should we try it? Let's do it. Ooh. But if this were a duplicate request, Marcine or one of the other engineers surely would have caught it. I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. Well, God bless now, it. if you don't have any further business, I have a sign I need to commission. Uh, let me get back to you. All right. Onwards and uh, upwards, as they say. Yep. Okay. So we need to um, we need to find this comp spike and. Uh... Oh God bless it! Can you get out of here, dude? What? What? Is he going in there? Do you know what? Close the vent. Close it. Screw it. Status. Project status. Active prototype testing. Gabriel Vogel. Engineering Bay Lab 4. Okay, so where is it? Aha. The UCE-86 Comspite prototype ship has been cleared for the next round of testing. Your ship has been moved to Docking Bay 8 to be prepared for flight. Per recommended precautions, access to the ship is restricted to authorised test pilots. All pilots will be required to pass through security checkpoint and confirm their test flight number. Well, God bless it, Barbie. All right, so we need a um, we need a test flight number. What does this say? Ah, I've got to get the card, and the card is on him, I assume. Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, God bless it. Hmm. Do you suppose we could we could whiff it? All right. Uh, de -de 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 -de. Um, I hope whatever you took is worth the risk. Shh, Andre, shh. Oh, ho! Oh. oh. Alright. I'm just gonna have these worms. That's what I came in here for, you know, a little snack. I, I, get, I get hungry. You take my stuff again, you die. Well, I'm taking it. Good luck in catching me, because I am a slippery, slippery customer. Sorry, dude. We did you out of your stuff. First time as well. We must be getting better at the old, at the old pickpocketing, you know. Anything else in here? Get the goods. Oh, take that and that and that and that and that. What? A whole exercise ball in a locker. All right. Should we? Um, should we go and do our thing? So, what did we get off him? We got the... Ah, so we can go to either the prototype ship or we can bypass the checkpoint. We can go We can go either way. Alright. Well, do you know what? We have the code. We have the technology. I'm taking this water. Yes. Just so you know. There you are. See you later. Um, yeah. So, is it through here? Shoop. All right, boys. Commander Natara doesn't have the backing of the scientists here. Oh dear. I'm afraid Commander Woods might be reinstated. Why? What's why? What's that? Why, is that a bad thing? What the hell? Well, how do we get to the? Is it? Is it? Oof. Ah, was it back through the other way that we had to go? Okay. Ah. What? It's unlocked elsewhere. God bless it. Through here. Tech oh, pilots only Jesus. Point. Um. Where do I get authorization? Oh, I don't. Whoa. I thought I already had it. God bless it. Well. Hmm. All right. Well, that's that's. Is that where we have to go? Through there? Oh, it looks like it's through that side, doesn't it? Huh. Stop right there, Ensign. No, you're all right. There's been word of suspicious behavior from someone matching your description. Really? I think you got the wrong person. All right. Perhaps.
Perhaps you'd like to elaborate. Uh, I know there's ways to get past this. Maybe so. Mm. <sighs> Maybe we should. Should we just? I don't like to use this thing in my head, but you know. I'm not the one you should be questioning. We've all heard the rumours, right? Don't know what you're talking about. What? Oh, God bless it. Um, Don't you realise we're on the same side here? I think you may be right. Yeah. All right, you're clear. Just keep in mind there's been reports of a possible intruder on the premises. That's fine. You disappear, mate. Right. All right. Let's go. Aha. Down in here. Ooh, we're in. Andrade, you were bloody well in, my girl. Ooh, thank you. Might as well take the old junk flush. Why not? Okay, so... I think we're in the right spot here. Should we maybe just be a little bit sneaky? Hello? Hello? What's in here? Anything? Hello? Oh, God. I don't think we need anything in there, do we? Andreja, Jesus! Let's go. So it's through here. Aha! Is he just disappearing? Yep. Kind of wanna. Yep. 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 Um. Yep. Yep. Nope. All right, dude. Um. What's this? Can we? Can we? Can we use this? What's in here? There's lots of ships, but this is the ship we want. So let's just let's just get on here. Prototype ship. We're on. We're in. We're here. So what's? Oh. Well, this is yeah. Take a little peep around in here. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Good God. Please fix. Cockpit. Oh ho! Right. Perfect. Well, let's just have a little peep down here. Make sure there's nobody else on board. Because, well. We can't be taking stowaways with us. Oh, they left us some pie. I appreciate that. That's, that's, that's nice. It's a nice a nice little treat. Anything in here? Oh, is that just the thingy? All right, Andreja, let's let's fly this bad boy. Let's get out. Let's go, 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 go. Anything else? Seats. Oh, captain's locker. Uh else cargo oh jump seat is this a cargo thingy oh, nothing in it really okay can we fly this I think we can fly this ship, you are not cleared for takeoff what's going on over there nothing Unauthorized launch from engineering. All ships, secure the prototype. no you ain't gonna do it baby I'm out Alright, so we just need to return to the key. So, do we just return to the key? And go? Graph drive is... Oh, here we go. Bye, birds! Bye! Ha! 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 We arrived! All right, better just let them know it's us, hadn't we? Uh, what, what, what? Oh God! Nobody hails the key. Just do your business. Oh, all right, Jesus! Just wanted to let you know it was me. Good Lord! I took it. Da 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 da. All right, there we go. Whew. Always a satisfying moment. To return to your ship. Okay. Well, welcome back, Rook. 
Looks like you got a new toy for me. Yeah. Go on in and give everyone the lowdown. We'll take care of things from here. All right, well. That's a real nice ship you brought in. I can't wait to tinker with it. I mean, it's not bad. Head on in. We'll take the ship to another port so Jazz can have a look. We'll secure that ship for you. All right, chill out. Bloody hell. It's yours. Take it. I don't give a damn. It's not the It's not the frontier. Dude, I will finish it. I've not shot anything all this episode. I'm feeling a little little twitchy. Trigger finger. I could have ruined this woman. This Juan. I could have done it. Easily. Yeah. But I chose not to. Alright, let's go in the last Nova. This might be a little loud. God bless it. I can't believe she left us there. What the hell? Hmm. Oh, sorry, just having a little sip of my tea. Alright. You Nice to know Neva was right about you. It's good to have a promising rookie with the fleet. Yeah. Neva vouched for me. Surprise? Yeah. Neva talks tough, and frankly, she is tough. But she's not a machine. <sighs> Still got a lot to learn, yeah. Don't we all? Who to you trust? Seem to be a quick learner. Anyway, I believe I owe you a drink. It's the last time I'm paying, of course. Because if Dalgado's right about Bonk's Krix's grunk. legacy, oh my God. you've earned more than your fair share already with that com spike. Um. Yeah, did Delgado clue you in on it? Yeah. Although I get why you didn't give me the details. If I had known this was about the legacy, I might have asked for a bigger cut. Well, there you go. This is good as ours. Sounds like you're on board as a true believer. I have to admit, the way things are going, I'm starting to believe myself. Whether Crix's legacy is real what the? or not, <laughs> we have a job to do, and we will see it through. Just raving in the background, anyway, love it. I've kept you long enough. Now that you've had your drink and my debt is paid, it's time for you to give Delgado the good news. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna be telling him you left me. You know. Are you enjoying yourself? Good lord! All right. Wore a monkey suit. You look like a monkey, like a chimpanzee. I appreciate that you may have business here. I would simply ask that you conclude it quickly. All right, Andrea, don't, don't, don't get wound up. Um. Yeah, he's gonna be up here, isn't he? All right, let's go and see what the old, the old. Blackguard wants. Where is he? Dip. Oh, you're up there, are you? In your little office, your private office, sir. He actually has a cape on. My God. All right, dude. Let's hear it. Hello. Jasmine tells me that you not only brought us the com spike, but an entire prototype UC ship. Yeah, it's mine. I'm impressed, Rook. Very impressed. Uh, yeah, the comp spike. This comp spike was built into the ship, so I didn't really have a choice. Yeah, where's my ship? Don't worry your pretty little head about your damn ship. We had it brought back here safe and sound. Good. Now pay attention. Dale went out of his way to tell you how impressed he was. You just gonna leave him hanging like that? I want my ship, man. That's my ship. The comp spike was built into the ship, so I didn't really have a choice. Yeah. Should have taken the compliment, Rook. Dale doesn't give those out often. It, has he got a voice? Juan gave us the full rundown of your little smash and grab operation. Mm. She gave you some really high praise. Said you were a pro. It's because I am, baby. And from what I hear, receiving praise from Juan Dayu is quite an accomplishment. All in all, a job well done. Well, there you go. Now, on to the business at hand. Jasmine, are you there? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from one end to the other. Com spike shouldn't be too tough to extract. I'm looking forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. That's my ship, you know. Keep me posted. All right. That leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. And I think we've discovered a solution. Oh, well, go ahead. There's a corporation in the city of Neon called Jenardyne. 
Janadon. They're responsible for the massive conduction grid that powers the city. Okay. We get our hands on their electrical absorption tech, and Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Bannock 4. Um. Yeah, she probably will. She's quite an intelligent uh, girl by the scene, by, by the sound of it, anyway. You damn right she can. My girl can piece together a jump engine with her eyes shut. Literally, I've seen her do it. Lost good money on that bet. <sighs> All right, let's not get carried away, Viva. Yeah, now, no one cares. Why don't you give us the info on our neon contact? You get to meet up with the lovely Estelle Vincent. Oh, yeah. She's had her deft little fingers on the pulse of neon for some time now. Whatever info you need. I guarantee she can get. Oh. Estelle is one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet. If I want something done, there's none of the typical bullshit. It gets done, and afterward we all split the cash. Um. Yeah. I'm sure we'll get along just fine then. Just peachy. No, no, no. There is no getting along here. You are going to do everything she asks. Follow her instructions to the letter. Oh, well, maybe. She is valuable to the fleet. You piss her off and we lose her as a contact, you're going to be answering to me. Oh, how terrifying. We have dealt with more than a few of your captains. This one should be no problem. They are. You did right by one. But she's almost as green as you two. Estelle is different. Estelle will be waiting at Madame Savage's place. That's fine. I'd say don't keep her waiting. But chances are she won't mind. Girl loves her liquor. Oh, I see. And keep your eyes on the price. Neon's one big distraction for people like us. So I want you focused. We are one step away from Quix's legacy. And we cannot afford any screw-ups. Fine. Alcoholism is not funny, by the way. We'll have the whole settled systems on the run someday. Very good. Right, well, there you have it, folks. We have gained ourselves. A, uh, another ship. It's not our ship, but it's a ship. And um, the cop spike. So, I think next time we will we will head to Neon. Hopefully, we will uh, be in our own ship. What? Jeez! Could have run me out that. Terrified me. All right. So, is the frontier out here? Let's just check. I just want to see. Where's my girl? Where's my girl? My pretty girl. She must be out here. Yes. Yeah, so next time we'll we'll head to Neon and see what's going on. Is this is this is this what I think it is? <gasps> it is! Yay! Let's get on board. Let's get on board, baby. Any adventure you can fly. Hello, hello, my dear. Is is that how the saying goes? Oh, this is brilliant. Right, we're back in our home ship. Thank God. Oh. Got me all kinds of concerned, you know. Hello, dear. Right. So next time... Oh, I'll have to change out of this, this paraphernalia, but we'll do that anyway. So next time we'll head to Neon and um, have a little chat about this electro thingy that can absorb the shocks or something and go from there. So, until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.